On this week's episode of the Digital Marketing Scoop, we're discussing three ways you can increase your website's e-commerce sales. Hey everyone, welcome to this week's episode of the Digital Marketing Scoop. So we know probably a lot of people listening um, and a lot of small businesses have, you know, they've moved their, their, a lot of their businesses online in the past few months. Um, so with an e-commerce website, there are, there are lots of little things that you can do to help increase your sales. Yeah. Um, um, one thing that's really important to, to remember is that, you know, if somebody's added a product to cart, they've they've given some intent. There's buyer intent there. They put the product into the cart. So that's a really good time to try and get them to add more into the cart. Yes. Um, so I know one thing we often focus on is the conversion rate, the rate at which people uh, visit the website and turn into a customer. But also an extremely important metric is the, the amount spent per customer. Mm -hmm. So if you can increase that amount spent per customer, that's obviously a great way to increase your sales. Exactly, yeah, because they're already on your website. They have the intent there. So it's just about getting more out of them instead of looking for new customers all the time. It's about increasing the um, sales with each customer. Exactly, increasing that that cart value. Mm. So so one great way of doing this is, is implementing cross-sells on your website. So what that is, is you uh, go to your, a website, you click add to cart and then you're presented with another product that you might like. So, um, you know, examples of this, obviously, you know, on Amazon, people who purchased <laughs> this might have also bought this. Bought this yeah. Um, you may what, also like. Or, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So a lot like you can implement this, you know, with Shopify, WooCommerce, BigCommerce, all the all the platforms, there's there are ways that you can set this up. Um, one way I think is a really good way to do it is if you have a product um and there are accessories for that product then it becomes yes. kind of a no-brainer for the person to go okay if i'm buying this i i really need this as well um you know for example just say somebody's buying a rechargeable battery kit and then you present them with the double a and the triple a batteries that are rechargeable yeah so you really you know think about your product offering and think about what you know, really closely associates with each of your products and then set them up as cross sells so that when someone does add a particular product into the cart, you're then presenting them with that exact product that is is perfect, a perfect accompaniment to what they've already added into the cart. Yeah, another one is um, Apple. So if you're buying an iPhone, then they're like, do you want Apple insurance? Do you want the AirPods? Do you want this case? And you're like, well, I suppose I should. I mean, <laughs> and every phone is like a different size. So you're like, damn it, I need a new case now. So <laughs> and they all perfectly they complement each other as well. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, you know, and you do see that, you know, especially a lot of the automated ones, you know, where you buy a product that it'll recommend something that has no correlation whatsoever to what yes. your, 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 um, you've just added to your cart. So it is, it is, it is a really good way of getting, you know, that cart value up and up because, you know, if you're spending on advertising or you're you're working on your organic search, whatever you're doing to get people onto the site, obviously you want to try and increase that cart value. Mm. Um, so that's that's a, re a really good way to do that is to, is to implement those those cross sells and upsells. Definitely. Uh, the the other thing and I think this is often overlooked yes. is <laughs> your your copy for your product the photos of your product, the videos for your product. There's nothing worse than you're searching for a product and then you're like, is this going to solve my problem? Is this exactly what I'm looking for? Yeah. You really do want to be really clear about your your product. Um, like for example, you know, it might you might be showing a product, is assembly required for it? What what are the color options, you know? Um, getting all the different angles of the product in your product photos. Obviously, it totally depends, you know, on your product. Like if you're in the fashion space, for example, you probably want to see the product on the person, see how yeah, it's going videos, to look, the different photos. angles, videos. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Um, whereas if you've got, you know, something that's that's more practical, you might want to actually see a video of that product in use. In use, um, yeah. yeah. If it's something that requires assembly, you probably want to see a video of, okay, how is this assembled? I want to make sure before I buy this, this is going to be pretty easy for me to, to to put together. So it's it's all about you know creating 
as as the least amount of friction as possible yeah. uh, for the customer. So that when they do hit your product page, you're like, okay, this solves my problem. Uh, I know it, I know exactly what it does. It's exactly what I want. I the shipping information. Make sure that's really clear as well. There's nothing. Yeah. There's nothing worse than adding a product into the cart and then all of a sudden there's a big shipping fee and you're like, where did that come from? Yeah, so, you exactly, know, being yeah. being, re- being really clear about that stuff. I would always say try and give free shipping after a certain amount. Amount, yeah. Generally, it it again it creates less friction between the the website and the customer. You'll you'll normally end up with more sales. Um, yeah, but, and I mean, copy is really good for SEO and for your merchant center. So yeah. having headings, descriptions, and good photos is really important if you're going to be advertising on Google Merchant Center, which is Google Shopping. Um, so you really need to make sure. And like, descri- I know everyone was like, okay, COVID happened. We have to go online. We just need to get a website. But now it's time to go back and seriously look at your descriptions. Like, is it actually describing it properly? is the heading describing it like photos like I need like all the angles like I need to look through about 20 photos like I want a video like I want it all before I'm going shopping you know what I mean so it's going back now and reassessing the whole website now that you have it up well done time to go back and work on it now absolutely and like you you mentioned there are the photos and the videos there's nothing stopping you especially if you've got a small website of five or six products you know setting up your phone talking through the product that you have walking people around it whatever it is uh, the more information you can give people on your product the the better it's going to completely you know create that frictionless environment where they know everything they know they're making the right decision yeah so it is it is it is very important Uh, also what we're seeing actually um with asos and a few more brands are bringing this in now um with clothing especially is different models um with different body types so that i think obviously that's a bigger scale thing but it's genius because then you can look because you know you're looking at the models and you're like will that actually fit me though do you know <laughs> <laughs> so what they're bringing is different size models and you can select your body shape and you can choose that model to see all the clothes in which i think is just a fantastic way to go yeah. now i know it's a big job but it, it's genius. it is but what it's doing is it's showing the the product in the environment that it's going to be used in basically. So exactly, if it, it's a, yeah. you know, so you can, no matter what your product is, you know, you can, you can, you can do it that way. Like if you look, going back to Apple, like, and their, their ads with the iPhones, you know, they'll show people, you know, the, the alarm going off in the morning. Yeah. I think one of them, like it showed, they hit the alarm and then like it fell into the, the glass of water showing it was waterproof. <laughs> you know, there's, yeah. there's, it's showing, it's showing the product in, in use. In context. Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, and that kind of leads nicely onto onto our third tip, which mm. is social proof. Um, pe- people are putting, especially if you're an unknown brand, people are putting their trust in you. Yeah. So you're buying a product on their site. They might not know anything about your product, about your website, anything. Social proof is so important. Yeah. If there are reviews from Google, reviews from Facebook, Trustpilot, all mm. these places where you can get social proof, where you can show people they ordered a product, it was delivered on time, it did what it yeah. said it would do. It is so, so important for, for your brand. Um, all the better if you can incentivize customers, you know, when they get their product to create a, some videos and push them out on their own social media and yeah. then embed them on your website as social proof as well. Yeah, creating advocates and kind of maybe getting influencers on board as well. Kind of, it's, you know, it's, it's so important because if you're if you're an unknown brand taking that versus say buying something off, you know, Amazon or whatever, people that trust is there. If you're completely unknown, you're going to have to give people a reason to trust you. Yeah, reassurance. Uh, yeah. 100%. Um, and a great way to do that is, you know, your product reviews, um, testimonials from customers. I mean, yeah. it, I mean, written testimonials are, you know, they're better than nothing. But ideally, if you've, you know, video testimonials from customers, mm-hmm. that's a great, great way to be able to, 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 to have social proof. And Definitely. even better if they post it to their own profiles. Yes. Then yeah. you can embed it because it's, that, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a great way to be able to, to show people that you know your your brand that that they can trust um so yeah look that's that's three things one implement cross sales give people a reason to add more into their cart yeah two 
great product descriptions. As you said, it's great for SEO as well. You know, mm-hmm. product titles, long descriptions, short descriptions, photos, videos, give people, you know, all the information they're going to need or want on the product. Yeah, and for Google Shopping. It's really and for And for Google Shopping. All those. <laughs> and for, and the last one then, social proof. You know, show people, the, the people who've purchased your product or your service and been really, really happy with it before. Uh, especially, as I say, if you're an unknown, unknown brand, you really, really need that. Yeah. Um, so thanks for listening. That's been this week's episode of the Digital Marketing Scoop. Woo, one done. <laughs> Do you want to leave and come back? <laughs>